Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're time traveling to 2060 to explore how radically different our daily lives will be. And trust me, the world of 2060 will make today look like the digital dark ages. Before we begin this journey, remember that we're not just making wild guesses here. We're basing our predictions on current technology trajectories, research breakthroughs, and the exponential pace of innovation we've already witnessed. Think about it. 35 years ago, the internet barely existed. Cell phones were the size of bricks, and AI was mostly confined to science fiction. The next 35 years will bring even more dramatic transformations. Let's explore what they'll mean for you and everyone you know. Let's start with where you'll live. By 2060, the concept of smart homes will seem laughably outdated. Your home won't just be smart, it'll be an intelligent, responsive environment that anticipates your needs. Imagine walls made of advanced materials that change opacity, color, and even texture on command. Want your bedroom to feel like you're in a forest, or maybe a beach? The entire atmosphere changes instantly. Your home's AI management system, far beyond today's simple voice assistants, will function as part chef, part doctor, part environmental controller. It'll monitor your health in real time through sensors in your bathroom, furniture, and even integrate it into your clothing. Your kitchen will feature molecular food printers that can create meals from basic ingredients, customized to your exact nutritional needs and preferences. Craving a burger but need to watch your cholesterol? Your food printer will create a plant-based version indistinguishable from beef with your favorite spice profile and adjusted for your day's nutritional intake. Cleaning? That's handled by microscopic maintenance robots. Think of them as dust-sized Roombas that constantly maintain surfaces eliminating the need for traditional cleaning. Energy will come primarily from fusion power, with homes generating excess energy through ultra-efficient solar materials integrated into virtually every surface. The power grid as we know it will be largely obsolete for daily needs. Getting around in 2060 will make today's transportation seem like we're currently riding horses. Personal ownership of vehicles will be rare in urban areas, replaced by autonomous transportation services that arrive within seconds of being summoned. Ground vehicles will still exist, but they'll be entirely autonomous, accident-free, and primarily electric or hydrogen-powered. For longer distances, you'll have options that sound like science fiction today. Vacuum tube train networks will connect major cities, allowing you to travel from New York to Los Angeles in under an hour. For medium distances within metropolitan areas, electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, essentially air taxis, will be as common as Ubers are today with dedicated sky lanes keeping traffic flowing smoothly. International travel? Suborbital flights will allow you to reach any point on Earth in under 90 minutes. A business meeting in Tokyo while living in London? That's a reasonable day trip in 2060. The biggest transportation change, though, might be how little we need to travel at all. Virtual presence technology will be so advanced that distinguishing between physical and digital presence will be nearly impossible in many contexts. Work in 2060 will be unrecognizable compared to today. Traditional jobs will have undergone a massive shift, with AI handling most routine cognitive and physical tasks. Your co-workers will include highly advanced AI entities with specialized expertise that can adapt to new challenges. These won't be the limited AI assistants we have today. They'll be creative problem solvers with domain expertise, exceeding human capabilities in many areas. The standard 40-hour workweek will seem as outdated as the six-day workweek did to us. Most people will work in bursts of creative or strategic activity, perhaps 15 to 20 hours weekly, with AI's handling implementation. Physical offices will be rare, replaced by immersive virtual environments where colleagues from around the world collaborate in spaces that feel entirely real. Haptic technology will allow you to feel virtual objects, making remote collaboration seamless. The economy itself will have transformed. Universal basic services will provide for essential needs, while work focuses more on creative endeavors, human relationships, and personal growth. 
Digital currencies will dominate with traditional national currencies serving as legacy systems. Most fascinating will be entirely new industries we can barely imagine today. Experienced designers, AI ethics managers, virtual world architects, and memory curators to name a few possibilities. Perhaps the most profound changes will come in healthcare and human longevity. By 2060, the average life expectancy in developed nations will approach 110 years, with quality of life maintained well past what we consider old age today. Personalized medicine will be the standard with treatments tailored to your specific genetic profile. Most diseases will be detected and treated before symptoms appear through continuous monitoring via wearable and environmental sensors. Nanomedicine will allow precisely targeted treatments at the cellular level. Cancer, as we know it today, will be largely curable through personalized immunotherapies and nanobots that can identify and eliminate cancer cells individually. Age reversal therapies will be in mainstream use, allowing not just the slowing of aging, but the actual restoration of youthful cellular function. People in their 80s and 90s will commonly have the physical capabilities of those decades younger. Brain-computer interfaces will allow direct neural connections to external systems, assisting those with disabilities and eventually enhancing cognitive capabilities for everyone. Memory enhancement, accelerated learning, and expanded sensory perception will be available through these interfaces. The most controversial advances will be in genetic engineering, with parents able to select for certain traits in children and adults able to modify non-essential genetic characteristics. The ethical debates around these technologies will dominate social discourse. By 2060, humanity's relationship with our planet will have fundamentally changed, out of both necessity and technological capability. Climate engineering will be in full effect, with massive carbon capture systems having reversed much of the 21st century's warming. Synthetic biology will have enabled the restoration of damaged ecosystems through engineered organisms that accelerate natural recovery. Our food system will be transformed. Traditional agriculture will still exist but will be supplemented by vertical farms in urban centers, lab-grown proteins, and specialized genetically modified crops that produce more nutrition with fewer resources. Water scarcity will be addressed through atmospheric water harvesting technology, and advanced desalination powered by renewable energy. These systems will provide abundant clean water even in formerly arid regions. Waste as we know it will virtually disappear, replaced by circular economy systems where materials are continuously reused, plastics will be biodegradable or easily recyclable, and electronic waste will be eliminated through modular, upgradable devices. The most dramatic change may be in energy generation. Fusion power will finally fulfill its promise, providing nearly limitless clean energy that transforms everything from manufacturing to transportation to quality of life in developing regions. Not all changes in 2060 will be technological. Our social structures will transform as well, bringing both opportunities and challenges. The concept of retirement will be completely reimagined in a world where people regularly live past 100 with their faculties intact. Multiple careers in a lifetime will be the norm, with education becoming a continuous, lifelong process rather than something confined to youth. Digital and physical reality will blend seamlessly, raising profound questions about identity, privacy, and human connection. Many people will maintain multiple identities across various virtual worlds, with these digital personas holding real legal and social status. These changes won't come without serious challenges. Digital divides could become deeper, with access to enhancement technologies creating new forms of inequality. The psychological impact of such rapid change will strain mental health systems and social cohesion. Security concerns will evolve as well. With neural interfaces and ubiquitous AI, protecting personal data will become literally a matter of protecting your thoughts. New forms of cybersecurity will emerge to address these unprecedented vulnerabilities. The world of 2060 will be as different from today as our world is from 1960. The pace of change will be disorienting, exhilarating, and at times frightening. 
but through it all, what makes us human will remain our North Star. The technologies I've described aren't inevitable. They're possibilities that we collectively choose to pursue or modify. The future is written by the choices we make today, the values we uphold, and the vision we share. What kind of 2060 do you want to live in? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this journey to the future, hit that like button and subscribe for more explorations of tomorrow's world. Until next time, keep looking forward. The future is coming faster than you think.